<laughs> Welcome to Chamber Chat. I'm John Terre, President and CEO of the Boulder Chamber. And today we are going to have a very important conversation in preparation for an upcoming ballot initiative, which proposes to overturn the annexation of CU South, which our city council voted on just last September. And I think we voted on last year as well, um, but it's back and it's another ballot initiative that you, the voters, are gonna have an opportunity to weigh in on. And so we have the opportunity to have a conversation today with Leslie Durgan, who leads the Vote No for No More Delay campaign, which is supportive of the current annexation agreement um, and in opposition to the ballot initiative. Now, to be very clear, transparent with the voters, and you out there in the viewing audience, the Boulder Chamber's already taken a position in favor of the annexation and in opposition to this ballot initiative, which would overturn the decision to annex C South. So with that, I'm gonna start and introduce my great friend, Leslie Jarvin, who is the former mayor of the city of Boulder. She's a great friend, such a good friend that she married my wife and me, Molly. And so she, we have a special relationship. But today we're talking politics and about this campaign initiative. And so Leslie, I'm just gonna ask you, can you give us a little background on the CU South situation? Sure, John, thank you. Uh, you mentioned some of the key factors, but let me talk a little bit about some of the others. Sure. Uh, the property was actually owned by the Flatirons Company. It used to be a gravel pit. Yeah. And then they did some reclamation and offered it to the city of Boulder for purchase five times. The city never responded. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So by length, the university purchased it back in 1996. So this has been a long standing. It has. And I should just note that I was actually at the city of Boulder working underneath Mayor Leslie Durkin at the time when this happened. So I'm somewhat familiar with that. It was surprising that the university came out and purchased it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. And they've had it ever since. Yeah. So the university now is ready to make some changes to the property and some extremely beneficial to the city of Boulder and in exchange for annexation. That provides them water and sewer okay. and hook up to utilities. What they have proposed and what the city agreed to in the annexation agreement is a very legally binding document that says that the university will give uh, opportunity for the city to acquire open space, currently none of it is open space, 119 of the 300 main acres. Significantly, they will do uh, affordable housing on the site. Gotcha. And we can talk more in detail about that. And thirdly, and, and the thing that I find most compelling, is it will finally provide flood protection for downstream neighbors in Fraser Meadows and the surrounding Key Wayne area. Gotcha. So those are the major benefits that come with this annexation. So, so let me ask you this, um, just how do we get to the situation where now, again, we're voting today or in November on another uh, initiative to overturn it? Yeah, it's very confusing because city council adopted it. There was an issue on the ballot last November that would have overturned the annexation, in essence. And the uh, proponents of overturning the annexation, supporting the referendum, uh, were able to get sufficient signatures to petition by right up to the ballot. Doesn't mean city council agrees with it. In fact, they don't. But they have no legal opportunity other than to put this on the ballot again this November. Okay. So citizens are going to get the opportunity to vote on this. You alluded to some of the advantages of this annexation and maybe diving a little deeper. So um, can you talk a little bit about the flood protection um, that you alluded to in Fraser and Meadows? Sure. In 2013, with the horrendous flood that we had, uh, the water poured over Highway 36 and into the Fraser bigger, not just Fraser Meadows, the retirement, but the Fraser neighborhood. And it just, yeah, a lot of homes were flooded, yep. including Highway 36. Mm -hmm. And it meant that the first responders could not get 
to that neighborhood like Fraser Meadows to get the senior citizens out. This would provide flood protection that could dedicate up to 80 acres, probably take about half that, to build a berm, to build a flood wall, and to uh, deal with the potential flooding, which will happen again at some point, and will really protect, protect all of those downstream neighbors. Gotcha, keep you safe. And I, and I just heard harrowing stories of, uh, in particular, the Fraser uh, Meadows senior, uh, senior home and having to carry folks out and get deep water during that last flood certainly uh, great dis risk to life and you know, property at that yeah. So Yeah, we were really, really lucky. Yeah. 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 So we hope to avoid that. Hopefully this, uh, this annexation would allow for protection. Um, you mentioned housing, so something that the older chamber has been particularly interested in, um, supporting uh, affordable housing broadly for our community, but this sounds like a great opportunity for uh, housing for CU-related folks. Can you tell us a little more about that? Sure. The university would build about 1,100 units of housing for faculty, staff, and upperclassmen, not freshmen, yeah. but uh, some of the <laughs> older people. So, um, and in addition, they're giving five acres yeah. to the city to partner with someone their housing partners or whatever, to build about 100 units of affordable housing for people in the community, not associated with the university. So it's, it's not only affordable housing for people who, who need it, but it will really impact, I think, some of the transportation because we have all those people now driving in, yeah. Louisville, Lafayette, Longmont, mm -hmm. wherever, Westminster, would like to live in the city of Boulder, mm -hmm. would like to take a bus to work on campus. But they can. Yeah. And this would open that opportunity. That's great. And I heard it's about a thousand uh, folks, maybe even a little bit more, um, that they would be able to house there. That's right. Yeah, that's incredible. Um, and then finally, just to mention again the open space. And so, you know, I run around that area, I'm sure, like a lot of folks, you see it as open space. But what was the reality? The reality is it's 308 acres, none of it now. It is open space mm -hmm. in the city of Boulder. It's used as open space, people run and walk their dogs and all of that. But it's all university owned property. And 119 of the 308 acres would be turned into open space. Not substantial. Huge. Okay. And the university's pledged that in addition to that, that property would remain open to the community so it will connect trails, for example, access to South Florida, protecting wildlife. It's a Good deal. Good deal. It does sound it like it. So maybe just talking about uh, the campaign and just some of the things that you've heard from maybe the folks who are supportive of overturning the annexation um, that may be worth just discussing and debunking if you would. Sure, sure. Sure. Well, the campaign is, is comprised of a lot of uh, leaders in the city of Boulder, a lot of volunteers yeah. uh, who have come together to say we believe strongly that this referendum should be overturned, yeah. the annexation should go forward. Mm -hmm. And the campaign name is called No Means No More Delay. Mm -hmm. And it really is pretty much addressing, particularly the flood issues. Gotcha. Because without the annexation, there's no flood. Mm -hmm. So that is a major issue. Some of the, the things that we're hearing in the community that are very confusing. One is the way that the ballot issue is written. Because it really means if you want to say yes to annexation if you wanted to go forward you vote no on this ballot yeah, issue yeah that's very counterintuitive counterintuitive we actually talked to the city attorney this evening we slipped around the answer was no so uh but it is a big education for them now another is the level of flood protection some mm -hmm. people are saying wouldn't 500 year flood protection be five times better mm -hmm. the answer is no uh, and a lot of the regulatory agencies would not allow 500 year flood protection. Mm -hmm. And um, it would have a major impact on the environment. 100 years is what we build to in, in the city of Boulder. Mm -hmm. And so that is significant yeah. and uh, would really provide a good level of protection. I think that's the biggest thing that we're hearing besides the confusion about the language is. Mm -hmm. 
uh, and the other is open space. People use it as open space, think yeah. it's open space. It isn't. It isn't. So the university could use it ostensibly however they want. They could keep people out if they just uh, felt that that was necessary. If it was not a um, recognized, actually uh, determined by the sanitation agreement as open space. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Important issues. Um, so where would people go to find out more about your campaign um, or your team that's uh, working on this election? Right. Well, there's a website, of course, and oh. it's called No Means No More Delay. Brochures about it, where you can not only find out about the annexation itself, yeah. but a lot of the myths that are going around. Mm -hmm. In the website, we address those as well, and the impact of of this uh, annexation. What does the community get out of it? Yeah. So I'd urge people, if they want to get more information, to go to No Means and No More Delay. And uh, there you'll see very clearly, it's not all engineer speak. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really laid out pretty well uh, what, what it means for the community. Yeah. Well, I'll just thank you, Leslie, for being with us. Um, great history of leadership in our community on so many fronts. And obviously, this is an issue that's important to uh, just our community at large, but I know you're, you, in fact, sit on the uh, Fraser Meadows Home Board. I do. Uh, so that's a uh, center of our community that we know is very sensitive to the, the flood control protection. So appreciate your work on this uh, issue. And as I mentioned, you know, the Boulder Chamber's already taken a position on this um, ballot initiative. We are um, uh, saying that we're not supportive of it. Um, that we want to keep that annexation going forward, but we want you, the voters, to decide for yourself. So get educated on this issue, really important to our community, and we'll see you next time on Chamber Chat.